What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we are going to be starting up Black Desert's open beta on the PlayStation 4. Um, it is bright and early today. Uh, it's 3 a.m. Uh, I tried to get a little bit of sleep, which I, I kind of did. So I'm going to go with the same family name as I have on Xbox. This is just going to all reset later. So I'm not too concerned. Um, we'll have to reclaim this type of stuff when the full game releases. We got four servers. So hopefully, hopefully the beta can handle just four servers. But it is, it is early and uh, it's time to get kicked off here. So we're gonna create a new character and for the beta, the full game I'm gonna use Ranger, but for the beta, we're gonna try out Zerker. And uh, you guys know, for all my other stuff on Xbox, I use, I have like themes. So I'm not gonna care much what it looks like. I mean, this is gonna get reset in a couple days. So we're just gonna get right into this. Usually I'd take a little bit more time on character creation, but I'm not gonna do it today. We're just gonna hop right into this. I'm hoping the audio, you know, isn't like too blaringly loud. We'll, we'll adjust it once we get in game. And, you know, it's so ridiculously early that, you know, I got Kratos. I was, <laughs> I literally got in here a minute early. So I'm sure that, you know, most people are starting it now at 3.01, 3 o'clock, 3.01. I hit enter at like 2.58 <laughs> and it got me in. And so, yeah. That's, that's the positive to start today off, as I got in a minute early. Too bad that I want to get names on the full game, not the beta. I don't really care what my name was on the beta, but we are going to base this off of Kratos, and I sure hope that the audio, you know, I can adju I'll can adjust it when I get in game. I hope it's similar to Xbox. I know what my Xbox presets were, and so we'll hop in and uh, we'll adjust that out. Um, if you're new, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy uh, I'm not, I'll say this in this video, and I'll say it again when the full game releases and we start the Ranger. I'm still relatively new to Black Desert. I played for the whatever amount of time it's been out on Xbox. I'll let this play. It's gonna be loud. Okay, are you feeling okay now? Waking up for the first time on the PlayStation. This is the, is this the second starting area that we got on Xbox, I think? It's, it's a little bit more of a streamlined thing. Uh, so you seem better, are you okay? I was starting to wonder whether I had, whether I had chosen the right host. What's with that look? Don't tell me you don't remember me. You promised you would. Well, that won't be that much of a problem anyways. Your memories will return soon enough. Hee <laughs> hee There's someone w waiting for you over there. I'm going to hide now. Go and talk to that person. Don't worry. You're the only one who can see me. Okay, so I am going to get the audio set up here, uh, and then we'll be back in just a hot second, and well, we'll start this up. Alright, and we back. I don't know what happened to the beginning audio, but it's just non-existent. I mean, we still have sound. I mean, if you can clearly hear this. So I don't know what happened in that opening cinematic. There just was no audio. Are you really an expert? You don't look like one at all. Well, I've investigated ruins across the continent. I study ancient artifacts. Everybody says they're experts. What could you possibly do by yourself? Huh. I didn't come here alone. I'm with an job. ancient language what? expert you and some quality God. excavators. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You stand before Princess Direct. You must mind your... Hmm? Hmm. 
I'm sorry, adventurer, but I can't really trust you with a job this important. Return where you came from. Hmm. No, thank you. Look, I discovered this gemstone in the Valencia ruins. It was verified as authentic by the Imperial Court. My goodness, isn't this a gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power. I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. So is this something that Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the Stone Chamber investigation now. A fortnight. That's how long I'm giving you to figure it out. Huh. It'll be much sooner than that. I wonder what exciting discoveries we'll find. Okay, so I'm going to go through and manually adjust the audio when I edit the video because... Uh, it's just hard with the audio settings for the voices because you don't want the voice volume too loud because then your character is really loud. But then they didn't set the voice volume loud enough for the NPCs. But, whoa, I heard the rumors, but this princess is impossible to please. Oh, are you feeling fine now? I see that you're finally awake. I am Eden the Explorer. I found you out cold over there and brought you here. What's that? How do I know who you are? Well, this is awkward. A traveler who does not remember anything. You look lost and confused. You're in Balanos, near the ancient stone chamber to be precise. I don't know what happened, but you're safe here. I thought you were an adventurer or a mercenary. I knew you weren't a farmer because you weren't dressed like one. I would like to help you recover your memories, but I'm swamped with work at the excavation site. I'll be on my way. Hmm? The stone chamber? You seem quite interested in it. Why don't you examine the ancient artifacts that were discovered there? Okay, so we take a look at this over here. Not the soldier. Okay, this is supposed to be a heart. The, the heart of an ancient giant that beats continuously. This heart of the ancient giant. I, I, I don't know since when it was beating like this. The only thing certain is that the heart emits great power. I am scared of this heart that never stops beating. Its body as a whole is in ruins. Why? Do you think it's a bad idea to wake it, wake up it up, wake up it up? Eventually, someone else might. The smaller defense weapons will wake up from their slumber in the evening. It'll look directly at us. The world is full of sissy secrets. It sometimes feels as if a fog is hiding our view. Okay, so let's talk to Jarrett now. Hmm. You must be looking for Eden. I thought you said you were going to the to the stone chamber. What are you waiting for? If you're with Eden, get moving and help with the excavation. We were those ones who discovered what you just saw. I'm sure Jordine will be satisfied with our work. Hmm? Seems like you're not interested in an excavation work. If so, can you go find out more about the great boxes and tell that, tell and tell the our soldiers in front of the stone chamber? They keep stealing the belongings of our workers. Such a nuisance. Where is the stone chamber? Why did Eden even send someone like this? Just walk straight down the road and you'll see the ancient stone chamber. You can defeat foxes, right? Well, we're gonna find out. The audio, so... Gotta turn that off. So if you want to turn off the chat and you're watching this, it's the exact same as Xbox. You hold L2, flick right on the stick here, and then over. And it'll turn the chat on and off. It's the, it's the classic Xbox controls. I just realized I'm not going to have any pets on here. I'm not... I wonder if the... Is the, is the pearl shop open? Hello? Are you just not taking damage? Ooh. Okay. I can get, I can get used to this. What? You just not take any damage boxes? Oh my gosh, do I just deal no- Hello? Do I just not deal any damage? My dude is straight weak. It's hard, because this is like... I don't have any skills yet. So I'm just like... Slamming feet first. What on earth? I think the servers are just like... <gasps> in another dimension. What is happening? I'm just straight watching people, watching these foxes just die. There we go. Okay. okay. This, uh... Which fox had one health? 
this is weird. Their, their, their healths are not loading correctly. Okay, Grave Robber in the Forest complete. Hee hee, now we know about the Grave Foxes. We can see how much health they have left. Uh, he, it'll be safer if you hit, uh, if you def oh my gosh. It'll be easier for you to defeat them now. Don't you want to have more fun before heading to the Stone Chamber? Why don't you defeat some more Grave Fox? Remember, you used to be stronger before. Yeah, now I'm like, what the? Hello, game? Okay, that was fine. Okay, that was more clear. I have a feeling there's like another player here, but it's not loading in the other player. I mean, there has to be, but these things are like just straight dying. I need some skills on this character. Because this is... I can't tell if the... It feels really weird, because I don't think the health bars are loading correctly. Like, that one did. Like, some of them are working correctly, and then some of them just aren't, and it's weird. It's really weird. Oh, look, there's the there's another player. Player. Okay, so, oh, there we go. There we go. Look at this. I think this is just because I'm, like, really early on that it's having a little bit of trouble loading everything in. I mean, that's just kind of to be expected when you log onto the server right when it goes live. I can't really... I'm not really complaining. I'm just wondering why it was... That was really weird at the beginning there. But, thank you for taking care of the troublesome foxes who kept stealing the workers' belongings. But who are you again? Are you one of Durette's mercenaries? Explorers? Ah, you mean Eden and those people who brought... You'll fu and those people he brought. You'll find them inside the cave. The cave is right here. I don't understand why they're so dedicated. From my understanding, that profession does not pay well. Does standing out here in front, just standing here, pay you well? All right. So this is a lot better than it used to be when Xbox started. When Xbox started, you had to do like this. You woke up in a tent, and it just took a whole lot longer. It's a, it's about the same overall amount of stuff you do but you, you kind of do it in a different order and it, it flows a little bit better just a wee little bit for story purposes it makes a little less sense but it flows a little bit better but it's only a small portion that will probably get completely done in this episode all right eden the beginning and the end is the same i don't understand the statement hmm wait maybe Hello, Kratos. What brings you here? It seems like you're fully recovered now. Did Princess Jurette send you here? Well, I had no idea it was this urgent. Did the Grand Chamberlain Jordan say that? Hmm. I understand. Or, I understand. We'll do our best to pick things up. I think you should leave now. Evacuations are always dangerous. What do you want to know? Experience will gradually reveal the way. Wait. Are you already planning to go back? We're not done here yet. Let's take a better look at the mis this mysterious ruins. Do you feel that? The artifact is trying to pull us closer. It feels like it's from ancient times, but somehow feels very familiar. Okay. So examine the ancient artifact. The ancient artifact dominates the chamber. Eden, the mysterious explorer, looks on in awe. The energy emanating from this artifact and that of the black spirit feel very similar let's go ahead and approach aiden look at this huh? uh, there's something wrong with the artifact is it because of this trap left here you are infected possessed with dark energy
Okay, time to talk to Eden again. Are you feeling better now? Thank goodness, I was worried that I might have been too late. Looks like the Black Spirit has found a new companion. Have you experienced any hallucinations lately? According to the evacuation team, there is a high possibility that these artifacts contain black energy. I heard that even the chief of the imps, Red Nose, stole one of the artifacts from this place before. It's true that those with the Black Spirit gain immense strength and in an extraordinary sense of awareness, but unfortunately, most of them succumb to the darkness and lose their sanity. I'm certain that Red Nose has changed both physically and mentally. This will be, this will also be your fate if you choose to continue your journey with the Black Spirit. That is why you must train yourself not to be completely consumed by the Black Spirit. If you head south from the west from the Stone Chamber, you'll come across the Western Guard Champ Camp. You can find a Captain Cliff there. And uh, oh, and on your way, why don't you try and defeating the Gray Wolves and Tree Spirits? They are one of the Western Guard Camp's many problems. If you do, you might be able to accompany the Captain to see Red Nose. Remember, my friend, my name is Eden. Okay, so now we can get into the 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 meat of combat, I guess. The game starts a little bit slow, and uh, it starts a little bit. Uh, I don't know, not the story. I mean, this is a decent story for like what you expect from an MMO. It's no like Final Fantasy, but it's still it's still pretty good. And uh, it continues for a decent while in the main game, or for the for the main game. There's some stuff that you unlock after the fact on uh, at like level 57, 58 that will that'll get added at a later point. And this is just all right. Come on, can I kill stuff? Oh my gosh, I can't kill anything. They're invincible. What is happening? Do I have better weapon? No, but I have a helmet. It, it, this is... Ooh. Oof, that lag. Just a tiny hair... Hair? A hair of lag? Might have to turn off other players, but... I mean, this is... I literally can't do any damage. Or I can't tell that I'm... It doesn't feel like I'm doing any damage. You gotta die. Okay, so that's five of those down. This is... This is something. Does this deal damage? Uh, yes, it does. I don't need to kill boars. I need to kill wolves. That, uh... Okay. It's hard to tell... I feel like I should be dealing more damage, but I think it's just server issues. It's just delays on the servers between attacks. Oh! Okay. Okay, game. I can pick things up. That's nice. Okay. We're starting to get a little bit of combos down here. I have to... These combos are actually not too bad, these opening ones. Obviously... Okay, there's a multiple pickup attack. I'm, I'm all for that. That's a little bit of a different style of gameplay than I'm used to. Okay, this is... Okay, I like this. I, I like Berserker. We're, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to my settings. We're going to try this. So hide other adventures on. We're going to confirm that. And see if that helps the game a little bit here. I mean, like, I understand that... It's a beta, we only got three servers, and... Or we have six servers. I'm not, I'm not, uh, expecting, you know, smooth fluid. It's a beta, not the full launch. So this is, as much of a, you know, have fun. I'm assuming this is a stress test as much as anything for PlayStation. So that's how I'm gonna treat it. I wonder why they had such a hard time dealing with them. They're so easy to defeat. Who does Eden think we are? Anyways... Don't mind what he said. He he. You just need to continue following me as usual, okay? By the way, don't don't you think Red Nose is a cutesy name? I want to meet him. Okay, so these are one of the main things you want to do is to make sure to collect your Black Spirit gifts. So, how do you find my companionship? Always full of excitement, right? He he. he. This is just the beginning. You can't even imagine what's ahead of you. Till then, I've got your back, and you've got mine, right? Here's a little something I prepared especially for you. 
and then tree spirit expert hey i have a great idea do you think this is enough to win the trust of captain cliff don't you want to meet red nose as well why don't you get knowledge on all of the tree spirits and let him know more about them i can hear the roars of giant tree spirits just down below what do you think it'll be it'll be of great help to the western guard camp Okay, so then go ahead and complete this, and it'll give you inventory slot expansion, which is one of the biggest things in the game, which is really nice. Okay, so this is a quest that I haven't actually done in forever, because when I get on my Xbox and I play on my Xbox, as soon as this quest unlocks, it's just all completed because I have enough knowledge. So, I mean, this quest is really quick. You just kill these things down here. And that's it. Okay. That's a nice skill. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with... We're gonna have some good fun with Berserker today. Because that is... That is nice. I can... I can get behind this. Um, hello. It looks like they've added more enemies to this. They used to have a lot less enemies than they appear to have now. And it was kind of annoying, because when you would start the game, there was just all sorts of enemies. There was no enemies here, and there was just a ton of... Oh my gosh. Okay. Berserker actually low-key is pretty fun. There's not a whole lot of depth to the character, but man, this is... Uh... If you just want some pure damage, this is, uh, nice. It's hard to see how much damage I'm actually doing, but... It's fun. Which is really all that matters. And I mean, I don't even have any... I haven't even looked at the skills, which I'll do. I'll mess with those probably after Red Nose, because you don't really need to... Well, I need to mess with that until after Red Nose. Okay. Did you really clear out the Tree Spirits? I wanted to meet you in person, but now, in this situation... We're surrounded by imps and tree spirits. I tried to hurry, but it seems we're late. The wagon is completely broken. Phew. I'm out here all alone. My name is Fenia of Western Guard Camp. Could you please help me? Please find the wagon, driver, silver, and belongings from the imps. Okay. So, this area right here. I always kind of, when I start this, I run way away because most people just clean it up up there. And as you can see, there's not that many people out here. There's like no one. It's just me. And it just makes it makes it easier for everybody. Then we don't have another person up there. Clustering everything up. And it makes it easier for me to actually get kills. Count towards this. I don't actually know the skills. I kind of figured them out. I mean, obviously I have enough time on Xbox that generally no button combos but what's good and what not what's not still no, i gotta figure that out for this but berserker kind of might get a shot as not a main i have my mains and i know what my mains are and i know what i want to play but this will get this will get a shot as an alt i think it'll get a it'll get its shot if it, if it continues to be this fun I mean, because after playing Shy, I didn't really enjoy Shy on Xbox, so there are characters I don't like. I know if you've been watching a lot of my videos, I say I like most of the most of these things, or most of the, the uh, classes and how they play, but I didn't like Shy. I like Like Witch, but they're a little bit slow, and it feels like feels like you're doing the same thing. Okay, finally completed that. Let's clear these guys out that we did damage to. Get a little bit of experience. Slam that guy into the ground. So it looks like... It looks like um, L2 and X and L2 and Square are both two different ways to pick up enemies. And slam them into the ground, which is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. The da man, the damage potential with Zerker is really nice. Okay, so I guess every class... I didn't even look at the end of this. I started using it a little bit on my Sorceress was the... Uh, okay, 
Can you pull your weapon back out? You? One of the big things that I uh, started using on Xbox in tougher areas that I was having troubles in was the uh, escape maneuver, where you kind of you turn into like an orb and you can kind of back your way out of it. I'll probably wait till Red Nose to do any skill upgrades and stuff like that. Um, just because I think that's a good, that's a good point. Okay, can I get to past everything and turn this quest in? I have to kill more imps anyway, so let me stop killing them and get the next quest so I can kill them with a purpose. But yeah, you can see, look at all the people like right up here clustered around. There's just a lot. That's why I run so far away. Uh, thank you so much. I think this is everything. The wagon is broken, but we were able to get everything back. Ah, you're looking for Captain Cliff? He's looking for skilled mercenaries. Hmm. If you really want to work for him, why don't you help to drive out the imps? While you're taking care of the imps, I'll head to the Western Guard Camp with the wagon driver and let Captain Cliff know. Okay, so we just need to subjugate ten. So, not too bad. And it lo looks like we're getting a little bit better on the server. I mean, it's still a little bit dicey, but... It's getting there. Health bars are actually semi-loading. I mean, they're not fully... They're not fully good to go, but... It feels like the time to kill is still... A little bit high to, higher than normal because of... I would assume because of the server delay. But it's getting a little bit better. I don't think it should be taking this long, but... That's alright. Let's me practice the skills a little bit more. I'm looking forward to actually getting into these skills because so far this is pretty this is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. I didn't think I'd like Berserker. Because I don't really like the big beefy tanks usually. Just not my playstyle. I usually like the more finesse. Um, not range, but the more finesse, speedier characters than the bigger brutes. Uh, but this is actually, I actually really like, um, the Berserker here. He plays really nice. Which I'm happy about. Just come up here. This is quicker. I don't know why it wants you to go, it always, the auto-pathing in the very beginning is a little suspect. All right, Commander Cliff, I can't see you, but... Okay, did my game just freeze? Nope, okay, we're good. Did you trust me? He told me there is another imp leader. Nose told me. Where is he? Uh, a cave. The imp cave. Search party. On standby. So, northeast. You there, go with him. Yes, sir! Two imp leaders. This won't be easy. Okay, I'm in the middle of a meeting now. Is it important? We are currently in a meeting. We are at a crucial moment to put an end to this conflict once and for all. Oh, you must be the adventurer Fenia or Finia mentioned. Thank you for taking care of the safety of Western Guard Camp. Red Nose, do you know him? Ah, the artifacts inside the stone chamber. That's how he gained all that power. We were just talking about how to entrust our, who to entrust our mission to. The one who can break through the Steel Imps offensive line and find their Captain Red Nose. Finding has strongly recommended you. What do you think? Do you think you can take this on? I can see the determination in your sparkling eyes. Great. But you must prepare yourself. Why don't you go meet our blacksmith, Miguel Ares? Uh, he has prepared gear for the upcoming battle. Okay, so let's go... Let's go get some gear. Get our first gear up, essentially. Okay, Miguel. These muscles, they're for the captain. Do you know why I'm so toned? You can't just claim loyalty. You have to live it. Uh, welcome, the mercenary who has the trust of Captain Cliff. I'd like to ask you for a duel, but take this briar armor. Uh, what do you think? Do you like the armor I gave you? 
Yeah. If you're looking for better gear, come visit me anytime. My shop is always open for adventurers like you. You have to pay the price for it, of course. Ha ha ha. Finia is waiting for you over there. Hmm? Did you forget her already? She, our captain, you, she's our captain, you saved. Okay, come over here to Finia. Kratos, this is bad. More and more soldiers are getting injured here. Doing our best just isn't enough. Uh, oh, you're here. I'd like to thank you again. The wagon is broken, but everyone was able to return to safely. The failure of the camp is on you. If you win this battle, you will be able, you might be able to return to Hydel. You must defeat the Steel Imps first in order to summon Red Nose. The Steel Imps are much stronger than any imp you have faced thus far, but since they are the closest to Red Nose, you'll be able to find traces of him once you defeat the Steel Imps. Okay, so now... The very simple beginning of this. Just kill five Steel Imps. This is actually a decent spot to farm early in the game. Um, you can farm out to like level 12 or 13 on these bad boys. I don't really suggest it, but you can. I mean, you don't need to really farm at the beginning here. But if you do want to farm, these are the best guys to do it on. Except, freaking take 5 billion damage. Put that on. Put that on. So we got 9 attack and 10 defense. Once again, I have my own special area here at the beginning of the game. We'll come up to the top here, and this is where I'm usually at when I when I start the game. Is because once again, it's a spot lowly contested by people, and so I don't have to worry about uh, fighting other people for for the kills. Man, it just feels this character feels really nice, but eesh, the. The server delay on damage is kind of iffy. It's just so, like, that should have killed right there, but you have to wail on him like five more times. Slam you. Come on, just, just die, buddy. Okay. Let's go back and turn this quest in. I think once I can get, if I can push past and get uh, away from all of these people, I think it'll be good. So... Oh, you're quite good. I heard that you have the trusted Cap of Cliff. Here, take this militia weapon. Don't let your guard down when you're fighting them. Uh, those imps have a camp to the north of here. Really? Really, buddy? I will equip this weapon. Makes our attack 11. Okay. You received the mission from Captain Cliff, correct? Don't do any deeper... Or don't go any deeper than you can handle. You can't do any more missions if you're dead. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay, so we need to kill 20 imps now. That attack doesn't seem like a whole lot for me, because I'm used to, like, you know, the, ma not massive upgrades, but I'm used to, like, going from attack power 180 to, uh, 182, and, you know, two attack at that level means absolutely nothing, but... To attack at this level actually means a lot, because that's a 25% increase. That was a little bit more than, like, it's like a 30% increase to my attack. Okay, so this is going to take a hot minute to kill 20 of these because of the... I just feel like a little bit, I feel like, like, you get a lot of, you're getting a lot of ghost hits right now, or it just doesn't connect with anything. That's how I kind of, like, really, that didn't do enough damage to kill. I just feel like it's kind of ghost hits and lower damage outputs than I'm used to. Because I'm used to, like, some of the stuff in the early game, you could, like, two shot. Okay, okay, chill. Okay, so that is... Is that back, right? Yeah, it's just right trigger. It's back and right trigger. Does that attack. Okay. Get some combos going here. Undertaker skill. 
I mean, obviously at a certain point I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go through the skills and make sure I know what the heck I'm doing with some of these. Ooh, you can ooh, that's nice. You can interrupt. Oh, I have to wait for the cooldown. Hold on. Let me get the cooldown to wear off and then Can I hey, come here. There is the, there is a nice little cancel with the, um, with the, uh, with the slam. After one slam, you can cancel it if you want, with the right bumper, which is actually, which is actually pretty nice. That's a nice cancel. And so, because he slams them a bunch, so if you can slam them, throw them on the ground, and then, then you can kind of... You buy yourself, like, uh, a little bit of time with some CC because the guy's on the ground. More of a single target thing, but still not too bad. Why are these imps called steel imps? I've always been curious about that. Maybe it's because these imps are as tough as steel. How about we give you the title Steel Kratos? Don't give me that look. I know deep down inside you're already laughing because of my joke. Hee hee hee. Well, so much for those steel imps, right? What a disappointment. So much for adding steel to your name. Captain Cliff, he wanted you to track down Rednos, right? That's the imp that stole one of the artifacts from the ancient stone chamber. I can sense him nearby. Traces of black energy are all too familiar. Hee hee hee. Okay, so we need to talk to Tiny Nose in the cave. So Tiny Nose is a little bit a ways away. So I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead to when we are able to talk to Tiny Nose. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we are here at Tiny Nose, and let's go ahead and continue. Sneaking up here without being noticed by Red Nose? That's really something. Stay, stay back, human. B b back. I don't want to get into trouble with the boss. Why? Why are you a asking me about the boss? I, I have no intention of telling you anything. Tiny Nose points towards the wall inside the cave as he trembles in fear. Red Nose, I don't like our boss. If I talk to humans, he, he punishes me. I can also trade. I learned how from Luke at the Western Guard Camp. If you want to trade between Velia and the camp, you need to secure the trade route. Velia, Logia Farm, and the Simp Cave need to be connected. You you understand, right? Even I get it. Invest in the Logia Farm and the Imp Cave gnomes. Red Nose, I don't like our... Okay, I don't need to read that again. What he's talking about... Um, so if you go to the world map here, I don't think I'm going to do... Yeah, I can't... Well, actually... If you go into node management, it says contribution. You can go over to the M cave and you can invest a contribution point here. I obviously don't have any contribution points yet, but that's what he's talking about. It's investing contribution points like so. Strange marks. A symbol that is difficult to comprehend is inscribed on the wall. Could it be that the symbol has some connection to red nose? Yes, it does. Uh, I'm not seeing things, am I? You saw the same thing I saw, didn't you? About the symbol on the wall? Seems like it's a symbol about Red Nose. I don't think we'll be able to get any more clues from that little imp. At this rate, we won't be able to track down Red Nose. What should we do? Ah, let's talk to the person over there. Although I get the impression that he might in fact be after me. Okay, so we need to talk to Uno, who is just outside of the cave. Which is really nice. So, I don't know if Berserker, so, I have to figure out if the issues are server-based and just, we're just struggling a little bit with connection, or if Berserker just needs an insane amount of accuracy and I'm missing a bunch of hits. That could also be it, which would not surprise me at all either, but these earrings are decently nice because they give, uh, they give four accuracy. And it looks like on PlayStation here we have a different logo for the loyalty, uh, it looks like it's an M for whatever reason over the L that we have on Xbox, which is just something I noticed. Uh, I believe in science, but that doesn't mean I disapprove of alchemy or magic. Mysterious phenomenon occur in each of these fields. What do you think? Are you, are you confused? You might need some time to figure things out. Like me, yeah? Let's take it slow. So you must be Kratos. Ha ha ha. Don't be surprised. I'm a friend of Eden. You possess the black energy as well, right? I was doing some research on the black energy that is currently inside Red Nose. 
Red Nose only ever desired power. Black Spirit heard his lament and granted what he wished. But in return, Red Nose pays the price, paid the price, and was swallowed by the darkness completely. Speaking of darkness, you seem perfectly fine. How is this possible? Wait, that's not important right now. What is the origin of Red Nose's black energy? We need to know where it came from to know how to proceed. Red Nose used to reside within the altar of Agris. I'm sure you'll find clues about his whereabouts there. I'm looking for the black okay, so we need to defeat 38 Steel Imps at the altar of Agris, which is just up here. Um, I'm going to make this first episode a long one. It's going to have all the way up till Red Nose. That's kind of the intro to the game is killing Red Nose. So I thought it would be a good thing to do in the very first episode of the beta. Uh, it's probably what I'll do when the game fully releases. And so, yeah. This is usually where I farm enemies for this quest, but looks like it's pretty crowded down there. So let's go ahead and come on up here. Man, it's just, it's going to be a rough one. Okay, game. Pull out my pull out my axes. To not do that. The thing I like with Berserker is he has some decent like crowd control skills where he gets enemies onto the ground. So it limits the damage that he's taking. It just feels really nice. See, there we go. So I only slammed that guy once. That was kind of the that's what I was talking about where I can kind of I can interrupt that skill, which is really nice. And then we'll take a look, after we kill Red Nose, I will take a look at uh, different skills and see exactly what we're working with here. Because I, I have some skills down that I like here, but obviously we're going to get b bigger and better skills. I'm not even going to be... I can't get married to the idea of any of these skills right now, because probably going to get bigger and better to pair with the basic attacks. And with cap at 50 and no awakening in here yet, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Definitely going to get to 50, and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Might try to life skill for the first time, because I really haven't life skilled on my, on my Xbox account. Have a little bit, but not too much. That'd be something to maybe give a try. Okay. The good thing about this is the respawn rates are really high here. And so... I can pretty much just stay right here. They respawn about as fast as I can kill them. Seven down. I am taking some massive damage. Yep, and they've respawned. So yeah, it's a nice little spot here where I'm not getting bugged by anybody. That's good. Probably need to be looking into my skills now, but we'll wait until we slaughter poor old Red Nose. Okay, now there's someone else here. The one thing about Black Desert and Kill Quest if you're not in a party is that it's only going to give one person the kill. So like there's two of us here or three of us here, but it's not going to give us all these kills for just dealing damage. So that's kind of the issue that I have with you know people being annoying like this. Like it's much easier if you just went to your own little area and found a separate spot because then we could all get our own kills. Now we're just competing for like five kills. So let's say I didn't get credit for that kill. I'm trying to use my attacks that I think crowd control on the ground to help me get the kill. Okay, so we're at 40 out of 50. What is that? What is that skill? Oh. Hey, dog, what is that skill? Not, was not ready for that. What is that? I was not prepared for whatever that was. What was that? That was like the crit. I believe I hit. Did I hit up or back X? Is that what I hit for that? 
don't know what I hit for that, but that was... I think I hit... Oh, there it is again! I think it's like... It's within the flow. It's like back, back X within the flow of, uh, of attacks. I think that's what it is. That attack is crazy. Uh, hee hee hee. They've come to their fears and have given Red Nose their complete loyalty. There's another one of these black spirit gifts. Uh, so how do you find my companionship? Always full of excitement, right? Hee hee. This is just the beginning. You can't even imagine what's ahead of you. Till then, I've got your back and okay, he just says the same thing again. Uh, the dark energy that controlled Red Nose. Who knows? It could be the work of those wizards. Ha ha ha. Let's take their staffs and investigate. They seem suspicious. Hee hee hee. Okay, so go ahead and complete that. And we need to kill 15 regular imps and 10 steel warriors. And we need to collect two staffs. So that's just RNG drops. Can you, can you get the drop? Yeah! Oh my gosh, that attack is that attack is legit. Legit the best. There is no better attack. That is it. That is the tier one attack right there. That is the tier one. That is the tier one of tier one attacks. Oh, I got one of the staffs. Nice. The RNG drops for these are always an interesting adventure. Well, let's see. I have to kill seven more imps, seven more steel imps, and I need to collect one more staff. Looks like this guy and I can kind of work in harmony here, killing different stuff. Doesn't look like we're too in each other's way. Come on, wizard. Cough it up. No, he didn't cough it up. His pack-to-pack -pack movement is not bad with the little dash forward, because not only is it a nice little dash forward, it, uh... It, uh, it does damage, which is really nice. kind of like that stomp. That stomp is actually pretty good. Okay, so we need four more regular imps, two more steals, and uh, one more staff. I still need one more staff. Need to kill this wizard here. My audio just cut out. There we go. It's back. That was really weird. The audio just cut out. Like... Okay. What do I need to kill? Steel imps. There's a steel imp. There's two in front of me. One more steel imp. Alright, game. I Just let me kill one more steel imp. I can't even get to the one. Get out of here. Pick up and throw the guys away that I don't need. Get this deal in. There we go. And mission complete. Kill these guys and I'll retreat to my little corner. I can talk to my black spirit. Alright. Let's retreat over to my little corner over here. Heal up. Oh, there's a guy coming. Hold on. Come here, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Pop this back open. Oh, they're nothing special. They're all just from any common old tree. Look, it's the cowardly tiny nose. Ha <laughs> ha. He mustered up enough courage to come all this way. It would be fun to scare him, but it's not the time to do that. Let's go talk to him. Okay, so we can go talk to good old tiny nose. And, uh. Where is he? He's way over here. What? See, this is the auto-pathing that, that just doesn't make any sense. It wants me to go all the way out to the road, and then instead of just cutting through here. Which I get it's trying to avoid conflict, but it just is an odd route it's trying to have me take. Uh, so, so, I'm not reading. Okay, so persistent. I'm not reading it like that. So persistent. You really want to know about the boss? Boss, no. Red Nose. In fact, used to be bullied. It was because his nose was red like mine. Red Nose prayed every day to be able to obtain power that he can wield to rule everyone. That was when a dark energy surrounded him. Then Red Nose was overtaken by rage and desire for vengeance. Tell me more about Red Nose. Don't ever laugh at the captain's nose and 
uh, Captain's nose, and, and uh, don't tell uh, anyone that I told you. Isn't that just a... Ah. I'm sure... I know for sure if what Tiny Nose is saying is true. I know what this energy is. It's calling out to us, isn't it? Exciting? It's hiding in the darkness and so full of rage. Hee hee hee. That's why no one can find him. I could let him loose, of course, if we wanted to. Hee hee. Are you ready? What you're about to see might seem like fantasy, but it might just be your new reality. Hee hee hee. Uh, what do you want me to do? Once you acquire knowledge of a monster, it will be possible to gauge its HP. Knowledge of a monster can acquire at random by defeating it. Okay. And one of the quality of life things that uh, Black Desert did for us was uh, add the option to just walk up to a portal. Now, still a little bit finicky in some of the bosses, but Red Nose ain't one of those bosses. Red Nose has got... Oh my gosh, look at all the red noses. Oh my gosh. Holy cluster, there are 5 million red noses. Alright, let's do this, red nose. Hides all the red noses for me for a second so we can watch our good buddy here spawn up. So all of the bosses are going to feel relatively easy because that's just how it is through the story. Once you get to the end game, you can refight the bosses um and dailies especially red nose bags uh there's a bunch of different bosses that you can fight end game and they you know and i totally missed oh, i think i got credit for that damage trying to stay behind them with the with the ability to dash forward Kind of fight him from the sides and from behind. And that's not what I wanted. Get up, get up, get up. While he's down, just wail on him. And get some free damage here. Slide to the side, get behind him. Make sure I've stayed topped off and healed. I'm used to my sorceress where I can just dodge out really quick. Gotta get used to these other. Gotta get used to this character. Because I've only been playing Sword recently because I'm trying to get her ready for Kama Sylvia on Xbox. So if you want to see like more full game, I guess end game, it's not really end game, but more farming and stuff like that over on Xbox, I have plenty of videos up on my sorceress and other characters. Right now we're working on getting my sorceress to an appropriate like um, where I can play my sorceress with skills instead of, you know, being a spamming noob working on skills over there she's uh she's a challenge to play with her skills we'll say that okay uh, he's like one shot just just die thank you <laughs> he was so close he was so one shot and he hit me with that slam down i was like oh my gosh if i die well done i knew you could defeat red nose fear not my powers will protect you after all what's the worst that can happen other than just dying right ha 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 Ah, uh, real funny. There's that gift. It says the exact same thing. Uh, why do people keep bothering us with their problems everywhere we go? It's annoyance just a human thing. People in power are the worst. And speak of the devil, yet another human with something I'm sure demands our attention. Oh well, might as well see what he wants. Collect that. And Captain Cliff has shown up just in time to be too late. Hey, buddy. Ah, it's you. I was rather surprised to hear Uno say that you just took off. You and I are the same. We value actions over words. Immediately after your departure, I assembled a force to break through the steel limbs to rendezvous, rendezvous with you here. You really are quite extraordinary uh, to defeat that scoundrel Red Nose so quickly. History has been written today, my friend. Our names will go sure will sure go down in history. What did you do today that you should go down in history? You showed up late to the party. Uno told me about you. He said you have some kind of illness. I know someone who may be able to help. He's a famous alchemist. You should go introduce yourself to him. I will return to the camp, drive out the rest of the imps, and prepare to fall back. If only the Lord recommended someone like you soon. Ah, please disregard what I said. It's not important. Take care. Okay, so now we need to head to Velia. I'm gonna get away so that we can... Get, let's get up on my favorite rock over here. I feel like I've had plenty of videos on the rock. Um, pop the inventory expansions. We got this, which is nice. It'll increase our attack by one, which, you know, not a major upgrade, but right now when there's nothing on the marketplace to buy and sell, actually a pretty decent upgrade, um, over what we got. 
But uh, I think that's probably going to do it for this first part here. Decently long episode, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Check back later today. Um, I don't know when this is going to go up. So the goal is to upload three or four videos today. So there will be plenty more uh, of this playthrough of the Berserker in the beta. Uh, I want to try to get to 50 today. That sounds a little bit lofty, but that's not too bad. I mean, it's not that much. Um, but I'm not sure I will because I have to edit all these videos once I record them. So, but in the next episode, we will head to Velia. Uh, so we'll follow this down here. There's a little camp here. I'm going to save you guys the trouble of going there. All you do is you go there talk to a guy and he tells you to just continue all the way to Velia. So I'm just going to skip that and I'm going to skip. There's a lady you talk to, um, next, there's a guard you talk to. She's right next to the water. She just simply... It's, it's a pointless conversation. So I'll see you guys in Velia. Uh, that's our next location. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.